Hello, homos. I'm Stephanie. It is Monday here in LGBTV. Let's get to your questions. Question number one. What are some ways of being a good ally for the trans community? From talking to my trans friends, they told me that the number one thing they wish people would do is ask what pronouns they prefer or if they don't understand something to just ask them. I actually think everyone should ask each other what pronouns they prefer because you never know. You don't have to be super manly to identify as a trans guy and vice versa. I think gender neutral bathrooms would be freaking awesome. No one would have to feel uncomfortable or worried about going to a bathroom thinking that they're going to be judged or kicked out. Because when you have to pee, you have to pee. I really don't think it matters which restroom you use. Just realize that all because they're trans doesn't make them any less of the gender that they prefer. I get asked so many times on Tumblr if I would ever date a trans guy, and the answer is no, because I don't think, oh, it's a trans guy. I think that's a guy. They're no different to me than a guy with a penis. So fighting with them for their causes, the greatest way to make a difference is having a majority help out a minority. Question number two. What do you think about online relationships? You all know me with the girl with like more than 10,000 followers on Tumblr, so obviously I always get like, you know, a decent amount of, would you date someone online? Would you date me? La la la. I personally do not think I would be able to do an online relationship. Maybe it's because I was brought up in theater my whole life, but I'm just a really physical person. I need to like be able to hold my partner's hand and see them. No, I mean, I personally feel a little sketched out about the whole meeting someone online, dating them thing. But then again, that's just me. I know it's been so successful for so many people. I have tons of friends who have had online relationships that were successful and it worked out in the long run, but I personally could not do it. So it's, you know, whatever floats your boat. Go with it. Why not? YOLO. Hate that word. Stop using it. Question number three. Do you have any hidden talents? I do. Most of you know my talents are playing guitar and singing and piano and things and theater and acting and stuff, but my hidden talents, I have a few of those. I can do this. I, I can, like, I guess I have raver hands, you would call it. I don't, I don't even know how I can do this. I just, I just, well, yeah, happened. I could fold my tongue back. Uh -huh. Ah, uh, that actually is the least hereditary trait there is. Fun fact, I can pogo stick like a bamf. I can't do right now because I don't know where my pogo stick is here. But when I find it, I will do it for you guys because I freaking baller at that. Going back to the whole I sing thing, um, a lot of you guys don't know, I, uh, <laughs> I am classically trained in opera. Maybe I'll put a video of me singing like that one time on the good old tube of viewing. Maybe not. Didn't know. We'll see. All right, guys, those are your questions for this week. I hope you all have a super fantastic, wonderful Monday and Tuesday through Sunday. And then the following Monday, I'll see you again. The links for my YouTube, my Twitter, my Tumblr, my email, all that good stuff will be down in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because there really is no reason. Just could if you'd like to. <laughs> um, yeah. I will see you guys next Monday. I love you all. Bye, guys.